What's up everybody, this is Nomadix, and today we're going to be playing some more Rival Crimson Chaos, but this time we are using these Zealots as the leader. Now, the reason why I even used them initially for a leader was because they actually came up in one of my quests, and I was like, <laughs> wow, they're actually insanely good. So, uh, this is the deck that I'm rocking. We have two slow play high health tanks now the reason why i'm running two extremely high health tanks is because i need something to cover for my zealots whenever you use their ability they get an increased attack speed to 200 percent for 10 seconds so it's freaking nuts but you sacrifice 50 percent of your hp so if your opponent is paying attention they'll more than likely drop spikes on it but you can kind of mitigate that and i'll tell you how to do that in just a little bit so the purpose between having Goliath and Marauder, again, high health, um, you really want them to be on the field together. So if you can slow play Goliath or slow play Marauder, it's somewhat ideal. These two work very well with one another. Then we are rocking the Igor as well as Windforce. And we'll get into that, I guess, whenever we start the match. Uh, we've got our Skull Swarm as kind of a just defensive card. It's... It's really strong. It forces people to have a response. If they don't have the response, then you honestly will just destroy their push. So it's pretty useful. Great versus Jane. Great versus uh, Iscariot. Great versus Goliath. So anyways, you get the picture. And that's coincidentally why Marauder is so good with Goliath, because he does protect Goliath from the Skull Swarm. And then we're running White Fang. Kind of a nice slow play card. Can just toss him in the back. And he's usually pretty good. Now, I do have a question for some of you. If you are watching this video, I have enough. I got him out of a pack today, like a um, just a Knight's Tome that I had unlocked overnight. And I have enough Essence to get him up to level 2. What, in your opinion, is it worth it for me to do that? Or should I save my Essence and use it to upgrade you know, my other units first? Anyways, uh, we are going to be making a few videos today. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can't highlight how this deck works. Now, the biggest difference, I would say, between players uh, above a certain ELO, pro probably say 1,200 and players below that, is playing with a strategy in mind. Like, you have to have a strategy like, if your strategy is to simply, okay, so we are doing this, wind force it all in there, beam. And as you can tell, his, uh, his tower is now, I cannot believe that, I guess I did dispel my own special. Did it happen that quickly? Or maybe he winded, maybe he used his wind. Okay, so he's probably going to drop Skull Swarm again. Maybe not. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we are going to have to Spikes that. Drop our Zealots behind. See if we can't get some more damage off. Come on, look at that freaking firepower there. Okay, so... Well, that's... Oh, no, turn around. Tackle him. Son of a gun. Get him. Get him. All right, whatever. I'll take it. We uh, we almost took out his tower, so he's got the same... You see, and that's what I was trying to say. You have to play with a strategy in mind. So what is it you're trying to accomplish is really the question. And I think... Ooh, jump back. Thank goodness we were able to, uh, to thwart that. But, uh... We're going to let that come in. Ooh, hopefully we can make it to the tower with this push. Getting our little sneaky bottom push going on. But, uh, so I've tried to say this like 500,000 times. Like, just spit it out already. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that you have to have some sort of strategy in mind. Like, you can't just go into it completely blind. You have to have like a specific push like what is it you're trying to accomplish and with the three decks that i am currently using i have a strategy in mind and 
that's essentially all I was trying to, uh, to say. So here I have a large force. Come on, dispel. Okay. Now again, we are just trying to protect our, uh, our tower here. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Just kind of slow them down. Yeah, prevent any damage from occurring. Okay. Oh shit, he's gonna steal that, isn't he? Yeah, he's definitely gonna steal that. Son of a gun. Can we stop it? One electrocute! Yes! Ooh, clutch Igor, saving the day there. I shouldn't have played that there, that was a mistake. But you know what? It doesn't matter, it worked out in the end. I absolutely did not play around this deal at all. And that's not how you want to play that matchup. But we're just going to let it go. Okay. We got it to work. We got it to work. That's all that matters. So let's jump to the next match. We're going to see if we can not again highlight. So the goal for me is to get Igor and then Zealots win force them in and not deactivate my own special. So, but I can, I'm pretty sure you can mitigate that. So I don't have Wind Force next, which means I'm going to have to slow play this. Thankfully, I do have White Fang, so should be okay. Okay, so let's drop stun him. Drop stun him again. Oh my gosh, really? He's hitting me? Okay, see, but facing off against this particular deck, like... It really just is self-defeating for me to use Wind Force for any other purpose besides... Okay, so let that come in. Ooh, that's money. That is absolute money right there. So what we're going to do, I think... Let's go ahead and just push all this in. And maybe... Well, we did get some decent damage there. About 1,500 damage for that push. Of course, now I don't have Wind Force, which is problematic. But, uh, it is what it is. Honestly, I didn't need to, uh, to do anything to that. And stealing the tower is not really ideal for him either. Because it puts his, uh, puts his guys in danger. He's definitely gonna spike that. Okay. Come on. Get some damage. Couple shots, couple shots. Not too shabby, I'll take it. Drop this here. You might try and steal that, that's fine. Let's go ahead and dispel it. Okay, I really should have just saved my dispel there. That was retarded. What am I thinking? Okay. So he's just trying to get some like cheat damage here. Um, what to do, what to do? Well, I probably shouldn't have played that in the back. He's going to steal it, I think. Let's let him steal this. And then we're going to support this push. Okay. Did get the spikes on me. It's quite irritating. But I think we should be able to uh, push this in. And hopefully we can take out the tower this way. Oh, baby. Yep, got it. And we're taking out his troops as well. Granted, this does mean that whenever he gets this push, he's just going to steal it. Which is fine, honestly. He stole both. Okay. So we are going to have to drop that. Let's go ahead and play this here. Hopefully we can prevent it. all of that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. We do have Wind Force up again, so I think we're going to try and go for the win here. Okay, oh, no. He was ready for it. He was so ready. Okay, it doesn't matter. We are just going to have to take that out. Hmm... Okay, so he's definitely gunning for my home tower now. Does not care, but he can definitely just kill everything that I have, which is problematic for me. Okay, 
Oh my lord. Because he is a higher level, it's uh not good for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and dispel. Come on, take it all out. Take it all out. Perfect. I mean, I think this is going to end in a draw. Even if he has a steal, I have I have the wind force to uh, to prevent that from killing me. Okay. And again, not really that big of a deal. We are going to take it out. But eh, probably could have played that better, but you know what? You know what? He's maxed. Don't feel bad whenever you get a draw. I'm just happy we didn't lose. How about that? <laughs> I try to play around the uh, the steel a little bit better, but my deck is really expensive. And considering he's running so much swarm with the uh, the enchantress, it I'm not gonna say it counters my deck, but to some degree it does. Hopefully we don't run into him for a third match. Like I'm trying to diversify the video, please. Okay. Wow, playing against zealots, huh? Okay. Zealots on Zealots action. So we do have the starting hand that is ideal for us. We're going to go ahead and drop White Fang. And hopefully we can uh, get our push here. Push it all in. Ooh, money. Okay. I think we're going to take out the tower with that push. Oh, yeah. That is my tower. Okay, so we're just going to let... I'm pretty sure we're just going to have to let that happen. I mean, not much we can do about that. Drop's done here. Okay, hopefully we do take all that out willy-nil. Okay, so he is rocking the um, the suicide bomber there. Freaking Bombi. So annoying. Okay. Come on. Kill it. Kill her. Get some more shots in. Look at that. Rapid fire is so good. Okay. So we are going to have to thwart this, I think. That's just going to walk in and die, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, less than ideal scenario for him. Let's go ahead and stun that. Kill it. And I think with this wind force, we might be able to win. Okay. Ooh, come on. So you see the gist, like that is what you want, okay? That is what you want. Uh, you know, I, I actually made this deck while I was playing the tournament, the last tournament that I played in, and I, I was really surprised at how well I've done with it on ladder, so zero complaints. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all next time. Play some Zealot Leader. It's pretty good. Uh, I guess I could talk about substitutions in the deck. Say you don't have Goliath or you don't like White Fang. You could throw in maybe Golem. I think the the double Golem, Golem and Stonecutter is pretty good. Uh, cost less, so you have a better combo, but then you're kind of going to be lacking in DPS. Um, again, I do like the fact that I have two drop stuns. It just makes you feel protective and very defensive if someone does push in. But if they are pushing in with a large swarm, then Goliath, even though he does get the drops done, is just worthless. And that's why we have Igor as well as the Hydras to kind of supplement our damage. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Not the best play. I feel like I definitely play this deck better when I'm not sitting here trying to talk. But <laughs> I hope you get the gist. Anyways, be looking out for the next video which I'm probably going to be using Icelings or Igor. Anyways, y'all take it easy. Peace.